once my opponent shoots in for a single leg takedown from an opposite fighting stance, and I defend against the takedown utilizing a technique wrestlers often refer to as the switch. Once my opponent hefts my leg off the mat and secures a single leg position, the first thing I focus on is the positioning of his head. Having utilized proper form, he positioned his head to the inside of my body. I need to reposition his head to the outside of my body, which I accomplish by placing my hands on the right side of his head and forcing his head to the outside. It is important to mention that when your opponent shoots in for an inside single instead of an outside single, you can forgo this step. Next, I reach my right arm over my opponent's right arm, shoot my arm downward and between his legs, and then hook it around the back of his right leg. Once accomplished, I rotate my body in a clockwise direction and lift his lower body upwards using my right arm. This action pulls his center of gravity forward, not only causing him to release his grip on my leg, but also collapse to his knees. technique is similar to the previous one. My opponent shoots in with an outside single, I reposition his head to the outside of my body, and then reach my right arm over his right arm and then drop it downward. However, instead of wrapping my right arm around the inside of his right leg, as I did in the previous technique, I wrap it around the outside of his right leg. At the same time, I drive my left arm between his legs. This allows me to clasp my palms together behind his right knee. Once I assume this position, it makes it very difficult for my opponent to keep my trapped leg elevated, which allows me to drop my foot to the mat. From here, I increase my elevation, pull my opponent's right leg towards my chest, and rotate my body in a clockwise direction. The combination of these actions turns him upside down and causes him to crash down onto his back. This is an excellent technique because it not only allows you to escape the single leg takedown, but it also puts your opponent on the mat. This technique is very similar to the previous one. The primary difference is your hand positioning. Just as before, my opponent shoots in for a single leg takedown with his head positioned to the inside of my body. To set up the technique, I place my hands on his head and move it to the outside of my body. Once accomplished, the technique takes a slightly different turn. I shift my right hand to the back of my opponent's head and then use that control to drive his face towards the mat. This weakens his hold on my trapped leg and allows me to drop my foot to the floor. From here, I pivot on the ball of my right foot step my left leg forward, rotate my body in a clockwise direction, and wrap my left arm around the back of his right leg. The next step is to lift my opponent's right leg off the mat, but this can be quite difficult while he still has weight on it. To solve this problem, I drive his head downward using my right hand, forcing him to lean forward. With his weight now off his right leg, I use my left hand to elevate it upward and then continue to rotate my body in a clockwise direction. Due to my actions, my opponent also rotates in a clockwise direction, causing him to trip over my right leg and fall to his back. The key to success with this technique is to drive your opponent's head downward as you lift his leg upward. Without both of these actions, the technique won't work. <laughs> 